Hello, everyone. When you begin to live for Jesus Christ, I believe demons will try to get you back. There is a guy who is married, but before he got married, okay, in his past, he was a certain way. Uh, he was a liar, manipulator, fornicator, adulterer, you know, bad things, pretty much bad things in general. With the help of God, that man changed his life to where uh, he serves God. Yes, he serves God. Um, he sometimes helps people with the Bible, talks to people, talks to people about God. Pretty much stuff like that. Okay, um, this guy got married. And I believe in marriage, uh, problems are normal. So, he has problems with his spouse. During the problems, he is receiving thoughts, negative thoughts. You know, marriage can be very challenging. He is receiving thoughts that he should go back to his old ways. You know, um, fornicate with women, not really take women in a serious way. You know, just go out there again, fornicate, fornicate, adultery, adultery, stuff like that. I believe what the man noticed, hey, I believe he noticed that he came so far, came so far with God, and what demons are trying to do is get that man to go back to his old ways. And I use this story not to, you know, look down on the man, but I believe this is what demons will try to do. For instance, like you may be very tired of doing what is wrong like you may not want any parts of sin and you may pray more you may fast more you may participate more with things of god even when you are doing all of that, I believe demons will try to get you back. I went somewhere and I spoke to someone. In essence, what I told that person, 
it takes a really determined person to stick with God, to obey his rules, to do what is right. Because while living for God, I believe so many things will come your way, like distraction things that will try to, what word can I use? That will try to remove you away from God. And I believe the more you stick with God, the more you pray, the more you meditate on him, the more you read the Bible, pray fast, like be involved with things pertaining to him, I believe the easier it will be to fight off against fight against demonic attacks are you listening to what i am saying as for myself i believe i came a very far away to how i was to how i am now not to say i don't make mistakes not to say I don't do anything wrong. Yet, I believe I have to fight against demonic attacks a lot. Maybe because of God's grace, maybe because I have been doing it for quite a while now, I am determined to not let God go. I think with some people, if so many bad things begin happening to them, they may become discouraged and leave God alone. I am past that phase. What I find is that certain areas of my life is attacked, I believe, either to maybe I am being tested, I don't know. Maybe uh, it is demonic attacks to try to get me away from God. Either way, I believe what I go through in a way, at times, it gets stronger and stronger. When you live for Jesus Christ, and please listen to what I am saying, when you live for him, there may be times where certain things in your life may get attacked demonically you have it you have to have it in your mind no matter what happens stick with jesus christ all the way through just because a situation looks very horrible just because it may seem like it can't be fixed. Like you must not let your eyes, or should I say your perception, rule your actions. In a way, this may sound silly, but in a way, not really trust what you see, but trust what will happen. Yes, this went bad, that went bad, 
this other thing went bad as well, but my faith and my hope is not in what I am seeing, the negative things I am seeing. My hope in my faith is in what I know will happen in the end. It may seem, it may look very bad right now, but it doesn't mean it is going to stay that way. So just because it looks bad, I am not going to behave in a way where it hurts me, if that makes any sense. Like, hey, this went bad here, so I am going to do this wrong and that wrong and that wrong. Forget about it. No. This went bad, but let me not lose control. Let me stay humble. Let me stay patient. Let me stay meek and wait until God fixes things. Just because something looks bad, it doesn't mean it can't change. So why should I make life-changing decisions for the bad for something that can be temporary? Even if it is for a year, two years, three years, so on and so on. Let me wait. Let me endure. I hope this makes sense. May God bless us.